What's going on guys? Cameron here is Canadian Gamer. Coming back at you here with another video back from Exile. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed those little skits that I did. I know they're not for everybody. Uh, I have a lot of fun putting those together. Uh, I'm drinking the yellowtail, by the way, Marcus. I know you're into the red. So, uh, yeah, you know, those those skits I put out, uh, a few people in the comments, they're asking me, you know, that music's really good. What, what is that from? And I've used it before. I used to do those skits uh, quite a bit last year uh, with John Hancock parodies. But, uh, no, the, the, that music is from the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. And that's a John Hughes classic if you haven't seen it. Uh, I implore you to go watch it, especially this time of year. It's a great time of year to watch that movie. And uh, it involves, without getting into too much detail, uh, you've got a uh, you know charismatic John Candy on screen with a uh, Steve Martin in his prime. And the, uh, the chemistry those two have on camera is just phenomenal. And uh, John Hughes has incredible screenplay. And all of his movies and that one is no exception uh, it's just one of the funniest movies I've ever seen but it also has some somber and some sad moments as well and a lot of the music that I used in my skits uh, you know it's just kind of a play on the movie if you watch the movie the movie wouldn't be half as good uh, without that music in it so definitely check out planes trains and automobiles if you get a chance uh, so other big news I bought a new car recently uh, you know sometimes with life you kind of have periods where there's not much going on and then maybe other periods it's just going a mile a minute right now it's kind of a mile a minute right now I'll be brutally honest with you I haven't been gaming I haven't had time to game uh, it's the busy time of year for me as far as my work is concerned you know putting in some cases 10 to 12 hour days seven days a week I have to embrace it and uh, and take it for what it is because it is the busy time of year and uh, I'll be thankful that I'm working as many hours as I am come the winter when things probably slow down. So yeah, I bought a Volkswagen Golf, a 2017 Golf. Nothing fancy, uh, you know, it's only got 33,000 kilometers on it, two-door Golf, two doors exclusive to Canada and, and a few other selective markets for the Golf. Uh, the U.S. didn't get the two-door Golf, as, as far as I'm aware. Uh, interesting to note as well, uh, the MK8, the next iteration of the Volkswagen Golf, it's already out in Europe. Uh, it's not coming to the Canadian market. Canada is not getting the next version of the Volkswagen Golf. We're getting the GTI and the Volkswagen Golf R, but we're not getting the standard Golf. So. News to me, I don't know if it has to do with the tariffs, uh, U.S. and Canada butting heads, but uh, that's crazy to hear that we're not getting the golf uh, for, again, the next the next iteration. So, yeah, I guess the other, you know, the, the big news that we'll talk about here, uh, a gentleman in my comment section who's been subscribed to me for quite a while here, I think I got his name right here, Hedy's Izanami, and I do apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly, uh, he broke the news to me today, and I didn't quite believe it until I googled it just before putting out this video. Apparently Microsoft has purchased in a blockbuster deal for $7 billion, they purchased id Software and Bethesda. So if that's correct, if that's legit and Microsoft has purchased those two companies, that's, that's pretty impressive. That's, that's some serious shit right there because when you've got, you know, a, a developer like Bethesda, a publisher, and, uh, you know, id Software putting out AAA titles exclusively to the Microsoft brand, that's that's some serious shit right there. So that, that tells you right there, Microsoft is playing for keeps. Uh, they're in this for the long run, this console war. And uh, although Bethesda hasn't really been putting out a lot of good stuff lately, and I imagine... You know, a game like the next Elder Scrolls is probably already the ink's probably already dried on the paper as far as far as uh, multi plats are concerned. I imagine this would have to be other games moving forward after the acquisition, uh, kind of like how Microsoft purchased Obsidian. Uh, you know, the Outer Worlds came out on the other platforms. 
But uh, now, going forward, anything Obsidian is going to be exclusive to Microsoft. I hope. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, really not a lot to talk about. Not a lot going on. Um, like I said, just really busy. You know, it, it, it kind of begs the question, you know. Like, I'm 37 going on 38. And I got a huge game collection. I'm staring at a bunch of games right now that I haven't even played. I know the big retro show, he did a video on that recently as well. You know, you accumulate all these games, and a lot of them you never pull off the shelf. You know, life goes by so fast, before you know it, I'll be 60. Like, you have to ask yourself that. Do you think once you turn 60 or 65 years old, let's be honest here, do you think you're still going to be gaming? Maybe. But, you know, to all these collectors out there, like the Hancocks, and uh, MJR that are just constantly accumulating games all the time. You know, eventually, father time's gonna creep up on those guys. They're gonna be in their 50s. And like, when do you stop? When do you stop purchasing and collecting? It's just absolutely ridiculous. I saw John Hancock posted a video recently where he was comparing, uh, I guess, the ports, because it's based on emulation, on the Mario All-Stars game that recently came out to the original hardware. In the original games and, and Hancock says on camera well you know it's been uh, it's been a while since I played Super Mario 64 no John the last time you played Mario 64 was 1996 let's be honest here <laughs> that's the problem like you said Hancock he has those those here I am going on a Hancock rant he has all those games on his on his shelves in his uh, garage and and they're just collecting dust uh, the circuit boards are rotting out in the carts. Uh, he probably doesn't have his garage ventilated properly. He's probably got fucking mice running around in there. And, uh, you know, games, especially the physical media, it's a lot like a automobile. If you don't, if you don't run it once in a while, it's just going to deteriorate. Why do you think all these rich dudes that buy these expensive sports cars and all these Ferraris and and they put them in their garage and they don't drive and then they try to sell it and the motor is seized why do you think it's the, it's always the high mileage cars that are still running is because they're always it's like a horse you know you got to keep it going you got to keep the fluid running it's like that with these cyst, these old consoles and these old games as well if they just sit they're just going to deteriorate so john hancock doesn't understand that he can't seem to grasp that and uh like a lot of these games not just with him, but a lot of these collectors. Hell, even myself for that matter. Even you, Ken. You, you sit on all these games that are on your shelf and, they're, and they're, you're not constantly putting them in rotation. Hey, disc rod is for real. And uh, you can sit there and, and pump your chest and, and, and stare at your game collection all you want. But if you're not consistently pulling out the games and putting them into the system and, and giving them a little bit of a rotation on the disc, eventually... Like I said, these these games are gonna deteriorate. Are they gonna are they gonna deteriorate tomorrow? No, but 15, 20 years from now, there's there's a good possibility. Have you seen a DVD or or a CD from 20 years ago? Have you looked at it? They 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 develop scratches on their own for God's sakes. <laughs> I was meticulous with my CDs growing up. I still have all my CDs, and most of them are scratched to shit. I swear the laser does that. I swear to God. So yeah, I'm just rambling on here. There's, like I said, really not a whole lot to talk about. Just been really busy. So yeah, just really, like I said, just really excited to pick up my uh, my Volkswagen Golf there on uh, on Thursday. I haven't been with Volkswagen in a number of years. I used to have Volkswagen. That's all I used to ever buy. And then I went to Volvo. But the newer Volvos, as nice as they are, they're just a little bit outside of my, my price range. So I went back to Volkswagen. And uh, I expect to put a lot of miles on it because with my with my new job, which is going well, it involves a lot of travel. So I needed a, uh, a reliable car on the road. And uh, hopefully, knock on wood, this car will uh, bring me good juju. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't want to keep going on because there's nothing to really talk about. I guess the big news was just the acquisition here with Microsoft, id Software, and Bethesda. Let me know in the comments below, do you think that's enough for Microsoft to stay in the game? 
or do you think it's just a little bit too little too late you know if Microsoft stops producing the uh, the video game console someday I'm sure they'll still have Xbox Live uh, as a digital service that you can still get on your uh, on your PC so interesting times so that's gonna do it gonna cut it off there right at the 11 minute mark you people are wonderful and beautiful thanks so much for watching you take care